Meyer, Trip Eisenhower, Jaime Diaz. We're going to talk about our good friends, the neighbors to the north. Yes. Uh, we're not going to talk about Swiss Chalet or Tim Hortons or uh, uh, Schleeman's Beer, which is my favorite beer, by the way. Great Canadian beer. Well, let's talk about Canadian golf. A lot of people don't... Um, did you, you know, play the Canadian Tour? I never did. Okay. Now, I played the Canadian Open yeah. on the PGA Tour mm -hmm. and, and played... Uh, there was an event in Vancouver, one of my first years on tour, uh, that we That's used to Brandle have. That's when Brandle won. Brandle won it in mm -hmm. 1998, I believe, mm -hmm. is when he won it. But that was a fun event. And I'll tell it, a little side story. <laughs> um, I, was, I was playing in the Monday Pro-Am in that event and literally driving into the golf course on a Monday Pro-Am. It's so unusual. It was like a Sunday. There was wow. uh, 80,000 80, people out there that day. It was, I mean, I've never seen that many people on a Monday for a pro-am, and I'm like, what the heck is mm. going on? Well, guess what? Mr. Nicholas? We were playing with hockey players. Oh, gosh. <laughs> each well, each yeah. pro, PGA Tour pro was paired with a, with a hockey player at the time, and um, so that they showed up. I mean, Gretzky played. Tremendous. Uh, I mean, Brett Hall. You look all of them. I mean, it was it was fantastic. And as but you they, know, as you know, the best athletes who become golfers usually come from the hockey ranks. Without question, they have the best move. And and Canadians too, because the daylight's not that big during the summers. They maximize golf probably more than any place in the world. That is so it's true. Huge golfers. And, and a yeah. lot of great golf courses. Yes. I'm really oh, good golf. So beautiful. Courses. Right. But I, the reason why hockey translates is obviously it's a similar emotion. But every hockey player I play with kills it. Yes. They hit it forever. Well, they have the shaft lean. Yes, they, they do. They try to squeeze it against the... Now, they don't yeah. necessarily know where it's going, <laughs> but they all, they, can, they have Quinn. speed. Yeah. They have Dan Quinn, Ooh, yeah. yeah. They have speed, and mm -hmm. um, they can play. Um, and, but a lot of left-handed golfers in Canada as well. Mm -hmm. So we digress before we get into <laughs> yeah. the pro 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 uh, professional ranks. Nick Taylor, of course, yes. former number one golfer in the world, had one on tour before... As an that, amateur. As an amateur, yes, yeah, uh -huh. um, and had won in his fifth start, the Sanderson Farms, uh, five years ago, yeah, and kind of thought, okay, well, this is easy, mm. and I'm going to keep doing this. And then he out. found out it's hard to win on the PGA yeah. Tour. But his performance yesterday, Jaime, talk about it. Oh, it was tremendous. I mean, he was a point-to-point -point player, you know, uh, in many cases until he got a little tough on the back nine, and then he pulled out, you know, some incredible chips. Well, he chipped in for eagle on six, and he chipped in for eagle on fifth uh, for say, to, for birdie on fifteen yeah. when he was going off the rails after he doubled yeah. fourteen. So that was courageous, but it was also really impressive how a guy without a lot of length can negotiate himself around a tough golf course in bad weather and actually, you know, make fewer mistakes than the guys who are the bombers. Right, and stand mm -hmm. there with one of the greats of the game. Yes. I mean, Phil yeah. Mickelson put it put a lot of pressure on him, but Absolutely. Phil just couldn't find the golf course after the eighth hole. I mean, it was very difficult. But some of those up and downs from Phil, I mean. On Saturday, that had to be an all-timer as far oh, as compressed yeah. great shots. Yeah. I've never seen I, – I saw Seve play against Lehman in the, in the uh, Ryder Cup course. Most of his were par saves. Right. And it was – Unbelievable because he was hitting it off the world. And, and but that it was, was an Oak Hill. That was an Oak Hill. Was which it? is very hard to, to it, get back on. It, it was amazing. But yeah. but this was more spectacular. And the backdrop of Pebble, you know, with yeah. all the wind, it was just, wow, that's going to be a highlight reel for Phil's life, I think. Well, uh, yeah. for Nick's life, you mean. For Nick Taylor, you mean. No, I mean for, for Phil. I mean in terms of what he's, oh, for for just what, his yeah, short okay. game. You know, yeah. if you're talking about Phil's short game, you'd, you'd show that highlight reel. Well, it'll be a highlight for Nick Taylor, too. Oh, I mean, yeah. to stand there at and, he overcame and get it. your second win and how you overcame it. And I was um, impressed. The shot at 17 was impeccable. Yeah. I mean, to hit an eight iron and, and be short of that flag mm -hmm. where yeah. everybody was 30. Well, and you can off. appreciate it, right? Because you played there many times. And you said that stretch on the back, starting with eight. Yes. That's it, all the way to, well, past 14. 16 is the only place you get semi breather, but that can be tough too because the green's so well, hard. Well, the green's so hard. Yeah. yeah. All the way in, pretty much. It is. After eight. With that yeah. wind, yeah. with that wind, the mm -hmm. way it was, because I've played. I played Pebble in that exact win where yeah. 14 coming up the hill was back into, the, into you. And how it about was, 12? It oh. was brutal. 12 is it, it's, 12's almost impossible. It though. is. You can't hold a green, and it's into the wind. You're hitting the – I mean, yeah. that's why Jack, you know, he almost lost the open there in 72. He made a 10-footer for bogey. Right. Uh, but anyway, we talk about Pebble. For, we're talking about Canadians. Yes, we are. And you play with many of them. I, I have. The, the two traits I always n noticed, good ball strikers. Very good. Tend to be really, you know, because bad weather, just like Peter Jacobson in Oregon, you come in the Pacific Northwest or back in the cold weather, you know, the ball's not going anywhere. You better hit it pure yeah. or, it's, or it's just not going to be any good. And, and this is a great stereotype that, you know, I would say invariably holds nice guys. Oh, that's true. Great guys to talk to. Yeah. Very, you know, just 
engaging. Really are. And, yeah. and after a bad round, you you like oh, I hesitate to go talk to that guy. Oh, he's Canadian. I'll talk to him. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. He'll be yeah. okay. No, that that is true. I yeah. mean, I, I um, uh, you know I, I played. I mean, Jim Nelford, of course, yeah. I remember Terrific him. Terrific guy. Yeah. Terrific guy. Um, but yeah, uh, Graham Dillette, great ball striker. You mentioned one of the best. If you yeah. ever, if you're ever at a tour event and you want to watch somebody who really just strikes hits their ball, the sound great and everything. Sound yeah. is Graham really has that. And um, one of the very first guys who was known for his great ball striking, he was a really acolyte of, of Hogan, was George Newton. Yeah, yeah. Great golf swing. Could not yeah. putt, you know. But Mo Norman couldn't putt. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, great ball striker. Two guys. There yeah. you go. I mean, and and this, you know, Mike Weir was actually more the uh, great wedge and putter player. Well, he was. Yeah, and yeah. but you know, won a Masters. Uh, there's you know, whole we wrote some names. Corey Connors among the guys now. He yeah. he's, led, he's led in the GIR. Yeah, Adam Hadwin. Yeah. Um, so. so Right, I mean, but I mean, Nick Taylor moved to 101st in the world, up from yeah. 229 with that win. Still doesn't get him uh, to Japan for mm -hmm. the Olympics because right now it would be Adam Hadwin and Corey Connors mm. are the two highest ranked Canadians. He's got a ways so, to go, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you know what? Momentum and carrying it through. He, he showed he can win. Yeah, another and win would probably get him there. Another win would get him there yeah. for sure. So. By the way, we should mention some of the women. Um, well, Brooke Marlene Anderson. Marlene Street is in the World right. Golf Hall of Fame. Yeah. And obviously Brooks, the, the more Brooke, yeah. current one. Uh, Sandra Post was a really good player. Of course. Um, gosh, I wrote some. Uh, not, not to uh, Don Co Jones. That era, Gail Gail Graham. Was, yeah. You know, all and all of them were really good ball strikers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But and and let, let's put it this way. Uh, right now, you would have to say probably Mike Weir is the most. Um, accomplished Canadian the Masters. golfer just because he yeah, won the yeah. Masters and what he And I'd won. love to see Mike come back. I, I would, yeah, too. You know him well. Injuries. Yeah, he, and he's and a he, great he, guy. He, got, he went down the rabbit hole with golf swing. He did. And we'll see. He but did. He, I always feel like guys like that find a way. Maybe it'll be in the senior you know, life, but uh, he'll be back, yeah. I think. Yeah. But I would say Brooke Henderson has the potential to go down as the greatest Canadian golfer as far as achievements. Well, she's won the most majors probably, right? Yeah. What she won, two? She, yeah, she's yeah, not yeah. done. No, no, she's young. She's and young. Great athlete. Yeah. And, you know, God, how about a, that's a John Daly backswing. It is. You know, and but but she doesn't turn her hips very much. I mean, she's so flexible. Yeah. Uh, you know, we'll see. She's, that the Korean flanks ahead of her is tough to, tough to overcome, but it's made her better, and I, I think she looks like she loves it out there. So, yeah. long career, hopefully. Well, that's it for us. We're going to quit talking about our friends up north. We're going to go to Danforth Street and get some in Toronto and get some great Greek food. If you haven't been there, go. It's the most fantastic. I'll get a Molson. What will you get? I, I get Schleman's. Schleman's. Yeah, Schleman's, Schleman's yeah. is, that's inside, is my yeah. beer. His okay. is Molson's. <laughs> and thank you for joining us. And if you like what you heard, like what you saw, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.